I'm cool with that. Let's go out this door. Always know how juicy your magic axe is. Trust me on that. And my axe. I really want a steak right now. God, that's such a huge craving for meat. Um, no. I think I'm gonna go get a burger for lunch. The Imperials think we need their laws. Imperials are stupid. <laughs> All right. So there's supposed to be a standing stone right here or something. Hello. Hello. It's probably one up there. I'll get it later. I'm glad you're here. Hi. So what? What are we doing? This is the headquarters of the Nightingales, cut into the mountainside by the first of our kind. <laughs> It's dark. We've come to seek the edge we need to defeat Mercer Frey. What kind of edge? If you'll follow me, I'll try to explain on the way. Okay. So whatever, I'll just follow you. This I don't way, care. Please. I'm okay with the dark, but I've spent more than my share of time in caves already. Uh huh. Damn it. Go away! I don't like you. We don't have time for your bullshit, giant dragon. Learning about the nightingales. <sighs> Super cult of nocturnal. <laughs> so this is Nightingale Hall. I heard about this place when I joined the guild, but I never believed it existed. The assumption that girls were just a myth was seeded within the guild on purpose. It helped divert attention from our tree. What's wrong, Bruno? I can almost hear your brow furrowing. I'm trying to understand why I'm here, lass. I'm no priest, and I'm certainly not religious. Why pick me? This isn't about religion, Bruno. It's business. I'm in the business of making business. Let's get this on the road! Wow, this is a really oh, cool wow. place. This is gorgeous. You're the first of the uninitiated to set foot inside in over a century. I'm glad you let yeah. Serena come in. If you'll both proceed to the armory to don your Nightingale armor, we can begin the oath. Nightingale armor? Well, that sounds awesome. Where's the freaking Nightingale armor? Ooh, do I get to touch the block? Whoopa! This is the stuff I was talking about. The best version of this armor comes at level 32, and since I was already level 30, I was like, uh, I think I'm just gonna equip all this stuff. So, put on this hood. <clears throat> Illusion spells cost 17% less to cast. I love that one. Lockpicking is 25% easier. One-handed attacks do 25% more damage. And, Nightingale boots, muffled. Stamina and frost resistance. Only thing is, we're kind of over encumbered now, so we're gonna have to find some stuff to drop. Eh, let's just throw this helmet. You still encumbered? God damn it. Um. E. Let's, uh, eh. What weapons we got on us that I don't need anymore? Oh, God. We have so much shit. Why? Why do we have all this crap? Um. Damn it. Apparel. Circle of alchemy. We have just. Oh, we just have so much stuff. Hang on. Oh, I know what I can do. Nightingale Hood take off. Ancient Shrouded Hood. Ancient Shrouded Cow put on. And then Nightingale Hood put on. <laughs> Look at that. That's pretty freaking sweet there. And Tumblr Bane, wait, Tumblr, Tumblr Bane gloves. 25%, 28% easier. 25% easier. These are now useless. Yay. Am I still... God damn it. What do I not... 
Just the red. All my stuff is so freaking. There's gotta be something. I guess I could just eat things. Um. Nom. Nom. There. Finally. God. I had to take off everything. But the good news is. I'm Batman. <laughs> I'm serious. This armor is that's freaking cool as hell. I'm probably gonna use this over the, um. The Mage Stone benefit, because I just don't really care about that. Alright. You appear ready for the oath. Thanks. I'm glad I do. I didn't want it to bug out. It's in here. It's crap. And a red kitchen reader. Novice chest. I guess I can unlock that really quick, why not? Cool, now everything's gonna be super easy to lock pick. Pretty, pretty freaking sweet. My lockpicking skill's already 60. Okay, they're going down that way. I'll catch up with you guys in a second. I'm just exploring. Taking advantage of how easy it is to do lockpicking now. Alright. I'm good to go. Let's get this show on the road. Man. I just look like such a badass. Okay, last got these get-ups on. Now what? The ominous gate is the first step in becoming a nightingale. Whoa there, lass. I appreciate the armor, but becoming a nightingale? That was never discussed. To hold any hope of defeating Mercer, we must have Nocturne at our backs. <laughs> She's to accept you. What are you doing? Be strong. <laughs> need to know the terms. <laughs> oh my god. Both in life and in death, you must serve as a guardian. I'm sorry. Oh god, I should be taking this seriously. At this point, so there isn't much to lose. If it means the end of Mercer Frey, you can the end. Yes, kill him. Are you ready to transact the oath with Nocturnal? I made like ten other oaths already, so whatever. Good. After I open the gate, please stand on the western circle. Alright, let's do this. To make you... Hey. What the hell? We'll speak when the oath is complete. Go! I think we should trust the lass and take the deal. I think you need to shut up because I already agreed to it. You were already bitching. You were like, I don't know if I want to take the oath. This sounds dangerous. Ooh, my name is Brynjolf and I just got a set of super awesome armor, but I'm going to bitch about everything. This is enough to make your head spin, eh? Oh, shit, 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 shit. I almost fell off. That would have been silly. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. I will be doing the oathy thing. I'm excited. Watch me dance. I am super cat. Yeah. Come on! Serena, you gonna take the oath with me? Are you gonna be one with nine nocturnals? Ample bosom. Unlock the secrets to her titties. Okay. Stand behind me. It's okay. I call upon you, Lady Nocturnal, Queen of Murk, and Empress of Shadow. Hear my voice. You stop. Oh, stop smirking. Oh, it's creepy. I was wondering when I'd hear from you again. Lose something, did we? I've come before you to throw myself upon your mercy and to accept responsibility for my failure. You're already mine, Carlyle. Your terms were struck long ago. What could you possibly offer me now? I have two others that wish to transact the oath, to serve you both in life and in death. You surprise me, Carlyle. This offer is definitely weighted in my favor. My appetite for Mercer's demise exceeds my craving for wealth, Your Grace. 
You're gonna push me off the platform during the Oath How Serena. Interesting. Really. Very well. The conditions are acceptable. You may proceed. Don't push me off. Don't push me off the platform. We accept your terms. We dedicate ourselves to you as both your Avengers and your Sentinels. We will honor our agreement in this life and the next until your conditions have been met. You just like giving me well. this better for my eyes. I name your initiates Nightingale, and I restore your status to the same, Carlisle. And in the future, I'd suggest you refrain from disappointing me again. Yay, we're Nightingales. Tweet. Tweet. Now that you've transacted the oath, it's time to reveal the final piece of the puzzle to you. Mercer's true crime. He's done more things? Mercer was able to unlock the guild's vault without two keys because of what he stole from the Twilight Sepulchre. The skeleton key. Oh. By doing this, he's compromised our ties to Nocturnal, and in essence, caused our luck to run dry. Ow. So the key unlocks any door? Well, yes. But the key isn't only restricted to physical barriers. All of us possess untapped abilities, the potential to wield great power securely sealed within our minds. Once you realize the key can access these traits, the potential becomes limitless. Hmm. Actually, I think we should keep it. I'm afraid that's impossible. If the key isn't returned to its lock in the Twilight Sepulchre, things will never be the same for the guild. Oh. As time passed, our luck would diminish to the point of non-existence. And whether you know it or not, our uncanny luck defines our trade. Okay, well, I guess we gotta take it back to the place. Very true. In our line of work, it's quite rare we set out to return a stolen item to its rightful owner. Well, let's just get on with it. Before we depart, Brynjolf has some business to discuss. I suggest you listen to him. I suggest you stop telling me what to do. Listen, lad. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. The leadership of the guild. Uh, okay. Carlia and I had a long discussion before you arrived here. Well, let me guess. Thanks to your efforts. Mercer's treachery has been exposed. After we deal with him, all that remains is restoring the guild to its full strength. As a result, we both feel that you have the potential of replacing Mercer as leader of the Thieves' Guild. What it has something to do with the fact that I'm the leader of the Dark Brotherhood and also the leader of the Companions and also... A really sexy looking cat. Yes, all of those things combined? Good choice! I'm amassing so much power that I just might be the next dictator of the world. I've been at this game a long time, my friend. A long time. I've stolen trinkets from nobles and framed priests for murder. You're a bad person. I'm good at what I do. Maybe even one of the best. But it's all I know. I've never been one to lead. Never desired it. Never cared for it. Don't want it. Serena, stop it. Uh. <laughs> it's about time you asked. <laughs> Spoken like the leader of the Thieves' Guild. Just don't lose yourself in the role. We have a bit of an errand to run before your coronation. All right. Then it's decided. When this is all over and Delvin's contacts assure me that we've regained our footing in Skyrim, we'll handle the details. Until then, we have quite the task ahead. Let's do it. I've been poring over the plans you brought us, and I'm convinced the eyes of the Falmer are in the Dwarven ruins at Urkenthand. Carlia and I will meet you there. Prepare yourself, lad. This will be a fight to remember. Sweet. All right. Until next we meet, lad. Let's see. I need to re or reacquaint myself with what skills I've got so far. Illusion 63. Now, I kind of have a choice. I can either wait and get my illusion up to 75, but that would actually take a while. 
And I can do the fight against Mercer the way I did it last time, which is I basically went invisible and it was awesome. I don't know why I'm telling you this now instead of on Mercer, but this time I've got a different strategy for killing Mercer because I have an extra ability that I didn't have last time. You can probably guess what it is, but I'm wondering how effective it is compared to uh, invisibility and cloak and dagger against Mercer. In any case, it's going to involve me just straight out, flat out, murdering him. Really, really hard. So, we're going to go ahead and kill Mercer. And do that Eyes of the Fallen or whatever the fuck. Bullshit. And after that, we should be done with the Thieves Guild.